Are you on the right track to supersize your business? Sharon Harnelson here. Here's a little graph of possible tracks you can take to grow and build your business. And of course, there's infinite possibilities. This idiom has been around. It's, it's attributed to coming from the railroad industry where it literally meant if your train was on the right track, it meant that it would eventually and hopefully safely without derailment or accidents, make it to its destination. So it came became over time meaning to achieve our goals and objectives. If you're on the right track, it means you're moving toward your goals and objectives. And we're talking about progress as part of the, I'm gonna grab it, SOAP framework today. The SOAP framework stands for Story, Options, Action, and Progress. How do we know, and we use it, and we apply it to any challenge or change or problem that we face as we're building and growing and supersizing business, as well as other areas and aspects of our life. And we're talking about it, we talk about it every month in this year's annual challenge to do one thing every day to get what we want by it's this year this year's challenges to get your goals annual challenge we're talking about goals all year long every day yes every day this year we are talking about goals and this month we're focusing on confidence goals so this idiom on the right track and the p stands for progress which is what we're on today how do we know that we are getting and moving in the right direction. How do we know that we're filling that gap between where we are and where we wanna be? How do we know we're going to achieve our goals? Well, we measure using different ways of measuring to see how we're performing. Are we moving forward or away from what it is that we want? Because what we measure matters. I'm gonna grab a magnifying glass. Some of my favorite personal ways to measure at my progress toward my goals are different business measures than some people might use. I am a huge believer in the lifetime value of a customer and are we tracking uh impact of our customers are we are we getting feedback from our customers on a regular basis to tell us if we're moving toward what we want or not if we're meeting their needs and solving problems for them we're, we're serving them to the best of our ability those are ways i like to look at and measure when it comes to customers we also can look at things like conversion rate return on investment uh again customer lifetime value that's one of my favorites customer acquisition cost what does it cost for us to acquire a new customer. I also like to see how long our customers stay with us. And again, I want them to stay for life, but they don't all. And then if they don't stay, why did they leave? Where did they go? Who's solving their problems now? Uh, return on ad spend. If you do a lot of advertising, you wanna keep track of that. Percentage of revenue from new versus existing customers. I will contend all day long that repeat sales to the same customers or upselling to our current customers is always more profitable than having to go out and acquire new customers. Um, website traffic, you might track that. Sales revenue, I prefer to track profits in some form of profitability after all the costs, after all the expenses, which means we track all of our expenses, but net profit margin, gross margin, uh, market penetration, market share, those are all things we can track. Uh, product development expenses, product development costs. How much are we doing in product development? Are we adding new products and services that serve our customers? Uh, market development, are we developing new markets? Um, diversification, things like that. So those are just some things we can look at to determine if we are moving toward our goals or not. And that means we're on the right track. But keep in mind, everybody's track, everybody's path is gonna be different, even if you copy somebody's great model of building a business, you're not going to have the exact same experience that they do. If you expect you are, you're going to be disappointed. It's kind of like the Barbie movie. I I thought the Barbie movie was hilarious and I thought it was fun and funny, quirky and nostalgic. And we, my sister and I went and we told a friend and we both enjoyed it because we didn't know what to expect going in. We, she told one of her friends and her friend got all upset because she expected it to be hilarious and she hated it. So, Managing our expectations is another way to make sure we're on the right track. So how do you know if you're on the right track toward achieving your goals or not? Share in the comments below so that we can learn from one another. And I will, of course, be with you tomorrow with another interesting idiom. What does it mean? Where does it come from? And how might you use it to grow and build your business right now? Have an awesome day.